Hello everybody, this is BioTF Anime, and welcome to a quick uh, overview of um, the recently released uh, My Anime List official app. So I think it was released about four days ago in beta uh, for iOS. So if you're on iOS, you can just go to the App Store. It's not test flight or anything. You can just search up My oops, Anime List. That's the first option. And there you go. It is the, it's only, there's only one review, but so far it's it's pretty good, so I might leave one there too. So let's launch it. Uh, so uh, you can see there's a home page, um, and it gives you pretty much anime news. Uh, you can refresh like that. Uh, so overall, it's pretty clean, and it's a pretty nice. Uh, let's go to seasonal, take a look at that. So there's nice card layout of all the animes uh, airing right now this season. Last season, you can go to next and then archive. So the database, it's I guess it's pulling everything because it goes really extensive. Uh, but let's go back to this season right now. Search, uh, search works great so far. Say we search Demon Slayer. So that works. Um, let's do the Japanese name Yaiba. That works too. So that's fine. Search is looking good. Uh, notifications. Uh, it's pull. Uh, it looks very nice as well. Uh, pulling, I guess, all notifications because it's e those are years ago. Well, a year ago, and it's still showing up. I haven't been able to test if um, push notifications for airing anime work uh, works because I don't think any of mine are airing today. So hopefully that works. Uh, and then if you go to my list, it looks great here too. You get a little progression bar. Uh, you get options to add an episode really quickly. Say I've added an episode for Yashahime. Uh, but, and then if you go here, you can see the dials for progression. Uh, let's go, yeah, back at three. You can score it right there. Uh, and then you can delete, uh, move to a different status. So let's just save back to episode three. Uh, and then you can, you can swipe through for or you can type, touch the top for complete it, on hold, uh, plan to watch. So all these sections are looking pretty great. Um, there is one feature. Um, I'm not sure if it's a problem or a feature. I hope I hope they'll add it. It's that, um, for example, let's go back to home. And uh, if you click on something like Shaman King here, that works fine because um, the, it goes to the anime anime page and it's it's there. So it works good, but if you were to click on a new anime news, so let's say the Shadow House, Shadow's House, it'll kick you back to Safari. It'll kick you out to Safari or your browser, whatever you're using. So that's a little bit of an issue. Um, you can always click on iOS at least, and you can click the back button on Android, of course. But on iOS, you can click my anime list to go back to the app. Um, but it would be really nice if it didn't do that. So I'll, I'll show you another area where it does that. So say seasonal. Let's go to Attack on Titan. And overall, though, I really do like the anime pages. Um, there's this really nice uh, layout. Uh, it's got the posters and screen grabs um, right here. You can scroll through them. Uh, if you scroll all the way down, it's very nicely laid out. And say you want to watch the trailer, press play here. Uh, the YouTube video loads within the app, so that's great. But uh, let's go back down here. Let's say we click on Aaron character page, and once again, kicks you back out to Safari. So I really hope they would do an in-app browser, in-app Safari, uh, whatever, just so you can stay within the app. Go to because uh, that really takes you out of it, uh, literally. And but overall, I think it looks great. Uh, I've been waiting for this app for a long time. I've been using, well, I haven't been using because it's down. But back a while ago, I was using iMail, and that looked great. It got it had really nice design on iOS. I've used Kitsu. I've used Anime AnyList, but I don't really use AnyList the website, so that I stopped using that a long time ago. Um, but yeah, this looks great. Um, a dark mode would be nice, but. It took them a while to release the app, so uh, I can wait on those features. I'm down uh, to wait for that. Just hope that in-app browser comes in because I think overall the biggest 
pet peeve of mine is it kicks you out of the app uh, if you want to do anything like look at news and um, character pages or actor pages. So th yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this overview. Uh, yeah, I think the app is looking good so far, so hope they keep on improving it. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, hope you're enjoying watching anime. Stay safe in this time, and peace.